Hi there and welcome to today's video about how to raise baby chicks. My name is Mayant Van Eider and I will be here with you every day for the next 16 weeks showing you how I raise baby chicks from day olds into their healthy layers. I'm also the founder of the website Pamper Chicken Mama and we have a line of layer feeds and herbal treats for backyard chickens and chick starter which is the inspiration for this video series. So I thought a really good topic for today's video is one that has been in the news quite a bit lately, at least over the past year, and that is will my chickens and my baby chicks, in this case, give me salmonella? And the short answer to this is possibly, and we're also going to talk about ways you can kind of mitigate some of those occurrences and concerns. So salmonella, as you know, is a uh, bacteria that can make you sick basically. It's going to make you very sick. It's why we want to do things like cook eggs the whole way until they're totally cooked through. Why we want to cook chicken. Um, if, you, if you eat chicken, which I don't, but if you want to eat chicken, um, it's why we say you should cook it up to a certain te temperature, right? Um, it's to avoid salmonella. So chickens naturally have salmonella in their digestive systems and so do a lot of other animals, just like FYI. Um, but chickens kind of are the ones who tend to, who tend to worry about. Anyways, so they naturally have salmonella in their systems. So anytime you touch a chicken or hold a baby chick, there is a possibility that you're transmitting it into your system. The easiest way to solve this problem, and never have to worry about it really, is to always wash your hands after you touch a chicken. Um, the CDC says don't kiss your chickens. I don't follow that guideline, but I guess because this is a public show, I should say, yeah, also don't kiss your chicken. Um, but really the simplest way to, 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 to avoid all this is just wash your hands with soap and water. Scrub them for 30 seconds, that is CDC and FDA, um, I guess their recommendations, let's go with that. Scrub them in hot water, hot soapy water, dry them off. Every time you touch a chicken, just do that. I personally do actually do that. Um, if I have to run around with baby chicks and catch them or catch a loose chicken or you know whatever I have to do, um, I actually do go inside when I'm done and I wash my hands for 30 seconds with soap and water. Um, the other thing that we do is we also use those topical alcohol solutions um, and just rub our hands in it. So that's the simplest way that you can sort of cut the concerns about that, right? Um, the other thing that you can do is you can make sure that your chicks and your adult chickens have a really high quality diet that includes probiotics and things like apple cider vinegar to help balance their gut pH. So it sounds a little bogus, but there's actually a lot of studies to show this. Um, if you want to search PubMed, um, it shows up a lot of studies where if you search like uh, chickens and salmonella or chickens and apple cider vinegar, it'll show studies where they've performed, um, they've done research where if you provide chickens with fermented feed or apple cider vinegar or probiotics, it actually does um, reduce the incidences of salmonella in the system. It also reduces incidences of like E. coli and other bacteria, but we're talking about um, salmonella here today. So feeding the fermented feed, and in another video we, we talked about how to ferment feed. Um, we've also talked about in another video about apple cider vinegar and how some of the health benefits of it for your chickens. But if you provide the healthy probiotics in any of these forms to your chickens. I'm not saying it will, I'm not saying it absolutely will, I'm just saying that research shows that it can possibly reduce the amount of salmonella in their systems, which can, then means less salmonella that can be transmitted to you. So in short, basically yes, you can get salmonella from your chickens, but there's a lot that you can do to sort of mitigate some of those um, concerns and some of those potential instances of having it transmitted to you or your children. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. We talked about whether or not you can get salmonella from your chickens. Um, it is not something that has ever stopped me from owning chickens. I'm not personally concerned about it. I've had food poisoning quite a few times this year. I can guarantee you it was never from my chickens. It was always from uh, improperly cooked food because we've been able to trace it back to that. So um, if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and click the like button and you can also leave me a comment below. Please do consider subscribing, um, and if you are watching this on YouTube, please be sure to click the notification bell to be notified about when you can um, see new videos, which we upload every day, and we'll be uploading them for the next 16 weeks as we talk about how to raise baby chicks from day old into their healthy layers. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.